Ma'am? Who would call you that you'd have to call ma'am? Oh my god, shiny stupa! I'm serious, I found it! It wasn't shiny checked, oh my god! That's awesome, okay, I'll be back. Oh, it's male. <laughs> okay, I'll be back. Yes, polar. Okay, I'll be back. Oh my god, guys! I finally, finally found Stupa. It's been a, quite a while. This has been a pretty long hunt, honestly. Um, it took 10,000... Uh, okay, 10,000... Almost 10,800 encounters. It very, very near that. Um, it'll, I'll put the actual number, obviously, in the title of the video. Oh my god, it looks amazing! Wow, um... Okay, so, I guess I can just, like, you know, catch it and stuff. I'm mo thinking for modest, which is awesome. And hopefully we get that, uh, let's just go to bag, and I could put it to sleep, hang on, I'm gonna switch out. It can't do anything to me, so. Sorry, I don't have my pen right now, I don't really know where it is. Oh, I'm so happy this thing isn't, like, checked or something, that would've been, would've been kinda weird, but, I mean, I didn't actually think it was, but it just, it just took a really long time. I hope this isn't, like, oh, damn it, ugh, I take the elastic off. Um, sorry about this, uh, I'm not used to, like, I'm used to, like, regular, like, this little, like, SRs and, like, fourth strand where this doesn't even matter at all. Ah, uh, okay, half on one, half on one side. I'm here pretty well. Okay, there. I think it's off. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Um, Straighten this back out for you and stuff. Ah, crooked. Okay, there. The elastic is officially off. Ah, that took way too long. Oh, it looks amazing, doesn't it? Look at that, those colors. It's like, it's basically like a reverse. So I'm gonna put it to sleep. Straighten that. It's not straight, but that's okay. Um, bag, Pokeballs. Uh, I have a dive ball. This is gonna evolve into a Polar River Lawn, so I only have one. If I don't catch it, it's okay. I can just use like a Pokeball or a Premier Ball or something, but it'd be pretty cool to catch in a dive ball. Let's go. Yay! Okay, it's gonna look awesome then. That's a really nice Pokeball to catch it in. Um, Alright, it's just gonna do this. Oh, damn it. The Ralts is gonna level up. Naturally. I've already caught Spupa because I have obviously my Google on, so. Okay, I'm gonna name this. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna stop the video and give it a name, and then I'll be back to uh, do the rest of the video. Alright, I'm back. Uh, I went and gave this little guy a nickname. It actually is a male, which I'm actually pretty happy about. Um, I kind of wanted a male. I don't really know why, I just kind of did. So, uh, we're just gonna take a look at him in my party. I named him December. Uh, because it's December right now, uh, nearing Christmas, and he's just, he's gonna evolve into a polar Vivalon, which is very wintry, lovely Vivalon that I'm, I really like a lot, so let's just, uh, show my party and whatnot. So here's, uh, sorry, my screen's falling. Here is a Ralts, uh, my regular Vivalon, which is my, uh, wait, I think it's Rash-natured, my shiny Gudra, yes. My Swana. Here's my Orange Little Baby. Uh, I know it was evolved in my video. I actually didn't save when I evolved it, so. I haven't really had the chance to EV train it because I've been saved in front of this bush for so long. And here is a shiny Spupa. <laughs> is that like the entire. I'm pretty sure that's the only movement it does, actually, honestly. I'm pretty sure. So, um, okay. It looks like Modest Sync worked, which is awesome. Um, and it also is highly curious. That means it has really good special attack IVs, which is amazing. Uh, it's actually going to be a pretty decent Vivalon. Um, okay, so let's go and switch him to the front. There's actually another tree shaking over there, uh, which should have another Spupa in it. So let's go do this. This is one I was originally self resetting on, but let's just encounter. It's at the front, right? Yes, it is. Uh, it's asleep, though. So we're going to have to go. I should probably just wake it up now for when I put it in Pokemon to me. Uh, heal powder. There we go. No problem there, and let's do an encounter. Oh, sorry about that. The volume's not turned up very loud. Here's a regular Spupa, and my shiny Spupa 
Oh, it looks so good. Oh my god. So happy I finally got this. Uh, so if I can flee. Oh, I got away safely. That's good. That's good. Uh, I think I forgot to save. Alright, good. Saved. And now uh, we're going to be back in Pokemon Ami. Here we are in Pokemon Ami, and I've got my little speedo right here. Sorry, let me just train that out for you. I tried to get it straight, but it can never be perfect. So, oh, he's so pretty. Here, let me just pick that up so you can see him completely. So there he is. He looks really good. I know Speepa doesn't eat, so I can show you how that works. Let me just put it back and uh, give a little rub on its face there. <laughs> it barely does anything in Pokemon to me. I know this from when I had my other Speepa, and look, it doesn't eat. It doesn't care because, like, it's probably wrapped in stuff, so... And it just gets a little question mark, basically, when you drop it. Regardless, it looks really awesome, and I'm so happy to have the shiny. I can finally go and, like, hunt for other things now, uh, which is amazing. I'm probably actually going to leave 6th gen and do some 4th and 5th gen stuff. So, I will see you then. And for now, um, goodbye. Alright, so I'm because I'm back one last time. And you can thank Pleiades316 for this, because he reminded me to do an evolution video. It's actually been a couple hours since I've captured my shiny Spupa, and I've already even evolved it once to see what it looked like, but um, yeah, and I guess it's really necessary to have this. This guy is going to evolve into the Polar Vivalon, which is my native Vivalon. I live in Quebec in Canada. It also appears in certain parts of Europe and the and New England in the US, so let's watch my beautiful Spupa evolve into an even more beautiful Vivalon. Oh my god. I really love this pattern. I just decided to hunt it first because I'm going to be getting my other two favorites, which are Ocean and Savannah, at some point, too. So I'll probably hunt maybe a second Scupa and maybe a, um, I'm not sure, maybe a Scatterbug somewhere in the forest, possibly. So I'm going to, oh god, doesn't that look amazing? So I'm actually going to stop one more time and we're just going to put him in a me. So here we are in a me with my beautiful Polar Vivalon, and I don't have my pen any, even now, so I just don't know where it went. And, oh god, there's no hearts because I guess I was playing with it before. It's just so beautiful, it's just something about the eyes, and it's really cute when it gets mad too, so we're going to give it some, try to give it something nice, uh, what do we have that's good, sorry about this. Oh, okay, there's one there. Um, where are all my good ones? Got this bad, whatever, this is good enough. Alright, there we go. Oh, god, so gorgeous. Just absolutely beautiful. And let's try and, like, make it mad by, like, dropping something. I haven't actually figured out where it doesn't like to be touched yet. Possibly between its eyes? I'm not really sure. But, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I know I said that already, because this video is kind of choppy, but hopefully you enjoyed it, and hopefully you enjoy it. Oh, look how so cute. And I'll see you back when I get my next shiny. I'm not sure what that'll be yet, but yes. Bye for now.